Hello and welcome guys. In this session we are going to see how we can eliminate Postman and Swagger from our system or from our development system. Personally I like Postman and second like I do Swagger. But today I find out, find out a tools or a Visual Studio extension or a Visual Studio feature that can eliminate Postman and Swagger. So I have created one visual.net core web api project which is dotnet core 6.0 web api I mean, get product list get product by code and post product i am using a model which is product model which consists of product code product name and product price so if i run this application i didn't include any kind of swagger or swashbuckle nuget package so it will open me in browser in a simple api format so sometimes when we started a new project or a started existing project, that existing project does not have Swashbuckle or Swagger. And sometimes it does not have NFS to install Postman. At that moment, we can use this particular Visual Studio feature to test our web API. So this is my web API. Without Postman, I am going to browser and posting but there is one post product i cannot do in the browser because it will ask for post data right 405 but how i can do this so for this i have to add a new file in my application and the file name must be dot rest r e s t or dot http for that I can add that file inside the root of the my application or I can add a new folder I stop the application from running now I will add a new folder and the folder name will be test cases right inside this i will add one file add new item you can see new item here i can give directly i'm testing my product test dot rest the extension really matter it must be rest or it must be http click on ok right so if I run the application, I need the URL now. I will run the application and see after adding this, everything is working as it is or not. Guys, this is a new one, interesting one. If you like, give me a like and share your suggestion and comment in the comment box. So this is my URL. I can write in my get so you can see at the intelligence is also coming this is my api and this is my api name right i can directly run it by clicking on this run button you can see so what if if i stop the application if i run now nothing will happen right connection time out occurs so this is i did for my get product list how i can do for my second product second api which is get product by code and i am just returning a string as product code posted what is the posted value so i can write like this and to line separator we can give triple hash now again get and this is my url right and this is my api name and product code will be let's say p01 run the application for now click on this second product code posted at p01 if I change this P007, 
it is coming if i run this one it is coming so in this way we can add a rest client or http client in our application and we can test how we can test a post api same way it will be post and the api name will be our api name let me close this part okay this is my api name i can type content type application slash json then give a single line space again colic bracket in this we can add our properties or the model value so my first one is product code product name product price so product code i will be giving p001122 product name will be let's say product price will be 3000 now run the application previously i cannot post i cannot test my post api in this browser but now i can post this so if i did right hp laptop and let's say this will be 8000 if i test now this is coming but so we see how we can do simple get get with parameter and post now you can see in the product code this thing i am posting the hard coded i want from a variable so how i can do this i can declare variable like at the rate okay and to add here you can add double curly bracket and this p code right now i can give same same whenever i require so i require here i can give also here now run the application as cp001 is coming or not it is coming yeah p001 also coming we must give this double code to validate right so in this way also we can declare variable and pass the variable into our phrase how to declare comment line using a single hash So using the hash, single hash, we can define our comment. Using triple hash, we can define our line break. So without using Swagger, without using any third party postman or API testing tool, we can test our API inside our Visual Studio using REST or HTTP client. Guys, after, after completing this video, I'm going to give the source code in the video description. Please check it out. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.